you can say one thing, but if you fire all the people who have been responsible for mobilizing nuclear power over the last 25 years, you're not committed. So when can we get answers about what the current staffing levels is and how this affects our ability to deploy nuclear? With respect to the loan program office, the one thing that I will point out that's occurring currently, the current administration has moved forward on the third payment for the Palisades restart. So the loan program office is continuing to function and execute on the loans rate related to nuclear. That's executing an already uh, due diligence work. I'm talking about new work. If we've got to build five Hoover dams worth of nuclear power by 2030, which I think we do, mm -hmm. small, modular, micro, large, you know, I'll let the markets and the experts decide. But if we've got to build a lot, 10 gigawatts by 2030, we need to make new loans for construction financing. Is the LPO equipped right now after being massacred by Doge to do that? As far as I'm aware, yes, they are able to continue moving forward on, on But you, on you just said you don't have numbers about their staffing. Because we're committed to making sure that we do have the staffing to move forward and execute the programs that we have ongoing. And, I know and with you're respect committed. to nuclear- Here, Here's my challenge, and this is going back to the points we keep on making. I'm hearing the right words, mm -hmm. right? I hear the right words from the administration on nuclear. I'm hearing the right words from you. But the words and the actions are in, are in real tension with one another. And you're telling me I don't know the status of the LPO, but I am committed to using the LPO to deploy more nuclear. Both things can't be true. If you're committed, then you have to have answers about where, where do we stand with the LPO and what are you going to do to make sure that the LPO has the workforce and the resources necessary? 